Christ if you call that the religion? And I'm, yes, I am very religious. But I don't have any religion that involves any sort of belief. And that is because, well, I guess for two reasons. Um, one is because I don't need to believe in anything that's real for it to be real. So there's no, I don't see any reason to believe in anything or believe anything. Because it's, yeah, I don't have to believe it. You, you can't learn certain things because certain things are basically off limits because you you already believe something to be true. And the worst part about this is that God always exists in the unknown. God takes care of all the unknown stuff. And that means any time new information comes up, it's going to be something that was previously unknown and now we're learning. Then people who have these religions where they believe, they fight back. That's why a lot of people throughout history have been murdered or thrown in jail by down all oh, and also prefer three acres of forest to clear cut pasture. It's a Google satellite map. Yeah, you shouldn't have looked, Joe Blow. Maybe that's why I don't I don't want to know what happens. Yeah, now that you've said that, I really don't want to know what happens to my old house. Because he built that house. Well, I don't know, does it say he built it? I don't know, it doesn't matter. They they told me what they mean. You know, I actually I don't just have difficulty reading books. I also have difficulty watching YouTube videos. Because it would be like, like most of the time I try to watch a YouTube video, the person will start rambling on for like four and a half minutes before they get to anything that has anything to do with the title of the video. And, and usually before that, I'm just like, oh, forget it, text it, and then get out of it. Watching a movie is easier than reading books. That's true. Yeah. I definitely watch more movies than read books. Because one of the things is like when you're watching a movie, even if you're disagreeing with a lot I listened to was um, Out of the Side of the Planet. No, I'm listening to a few since then. But it's by that uh see no. Remember that now it's Hey, who wrote Out of the Side of the Planet? It's an old sci-fi uh, art author. Oh, who did The Lost World? I need a dictionary when I read too many fancy words in the box. Um, we just got on. Well, hello, Shadow Dancer. You sound very, very scary and powerful. How do you like it, The Lost World? I don't know, like a pure and the author. <laughs> I wrote a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm going to remember this as soon as I turn this off. Okay. Uh, let's see. I get fed up with too many snotty little mess videos floating, how good their lives are, and then I find something else to look at. Yeah. You know, I, a lot of YouTube videos about how to do things are just from like people who live in the suburbs and they're not actually doing anything. So their information always ends up being not that useful in real life. Yeah. Can you burn your manure? I put my I put my poo in Yeah. I guess this is forest. Antenna, antenna.